So the red rooster's been coming along nicely. Like, look at that. That's amazing. I mean, just look at that. That's amazing too. But, look at this. They finally found the, uh, the dunny holes or the... Well, they keep calling it a privy. I've never even heard of it called a privy before, but that's a weird name. Um, it's an outhouse hole, and someone else has been digging it, because I haven't been around in a while. I've been focused on my workshop, and look at all these bottles. Evidently, he's been digging up really amazing bottles, so we need to go down there and dig it before that guy comes back. This is so amazing. I've brought my probe, and I brought these, because I couldn't find a small shovel, but I've seen some archaeologists use these, so they should work. I couldn't, for the life of me, find a good pair of gloves. It's weird. Well, I know, I, I could find right hand gloves, but for some reason all my left hand gloves are gone. Oh, found a piece of coal. Coal is a good sign, very good sign. So we have this brick, looks like it's just stacked brick, yeah it's just stacked brick, a little, uh, looks like it's a place to, sh to put sewage. This might predate, yeah this might actually predate the red rooster. We have this little section here that the previous person dug, this little section here. I'm going down and I'm actually finding this works really well. Looks like this was filled in with like burnt stuff. Yeah, this is some uh this is some like ash. Oh no, that's metal. Wow, that's metal. Oh, it's rusted up, but you know. Over here we can see there's this uh, this pipe, which it's blocked off and it's crushed and there's some porcelain in the middle of it, so that's interesting. And then there's this one. We can look at that later when we get the hole down so I don't have to crouch so much. And this one's metal. I actually took a big piece of it out, so that's interesting. I wouldn't doubt that some of the other metal down here was also piping and whatnot. Oh my god! Oh my god! My first bottle, an hour in. Oh, yes! He have it in Schatzgefunden. It's so cool, I love it! So, I dug a little bit more, and I let this dry off. I, I let this dry off so I could uh, really uh, open it up and uh, look at it, because otherwise it's just a muddy, ma muddy mess. Well, looks like I actually hit the clay bottom, and it looks like it's actually been filled in a bit. So whoever had this, well, whoever was digging this hole, already reached the bottom and thought they found all the bottles, and then started filling it back in because I found some leaves at the bottom, new leaves, and like a candy wrapper. So obviously the the hole's been dug, but not all the bottles have been found. So I've been working my way around this way. And I have from here, over to here, already cleaned out, and I'm just moving it over. And hopefully, I can actually find some bottles in this section, because if there's one, there might be more. But, if not, we can go take a look at the other hole and start digging them. I'm just so excited. Just look at it. Just look at it.
So this is the, the base like clay layer and you can always see, tell it's, it's very hard and of course there's no junk in it. I find it very interesting that this clay is orange. A lot of the clay around where I am in uh, Illinois is gray, although this is on the top of a hill and so over time, I guess this being in a drier area made it reddish. Whereas where I've always lived in places that were near streams and so maybe that's more waterlogged and so it turns gray. I don't know. Look at that. You can make some bricks out of that. You know, I've been wanting to make another Dorodongo ball and so I might grab some of this clay and use that. So I used to make dodo-dango balls when I was a kid and pretty nostalgic about that. I needed to do that again. So I figured the next time I dig a big hole and find some nice clay, I'll keep some. And here's some nice clay. And I'll do a whole other video of making a dodo-dango ball. I think I have my old ones, some of them at least. I was never able to get the shape right, but I was able to get the, at least one of them pretty well like polished, so that's pretty good. Found some burned stuff like ash and coal. Just realized the clay starts like a foot down, so it's a load of nothing. Oh well. Oh my god, look at that. It was in the pile. It's a little stopper. It's for a different bottle, but still. Same color as that. It's definitely a keeper. It's the same color as these pieces, so I guess these are from the same bottle? Hard to tell though. No, they are from the same one. And these are from different different areas of the, the yard, so that is actually quite a cool find. Well, I'm kind of done for today. I just, uh, it's too much digging. And uh, I've been wasting like 45 minutes looking for an another spot to dig and I just can't seem to find one. So, John asked the guy that's gonna be doing the rest of the excavation and he said that he can move, like he can strip like a, a foot of dirt off of this entire section from here back to that hole. And so then we can easily see what's underneath and when we're done we can just move it back or whatever. It's a big construction site. It's it's pretty well like all everything's moved and everything so like moving a couple tons of dirt isn't that big of a deal right now so we'll call that it for this video and i'll come back in a couple days maybe a week whenever they have all this moved and hopefully then it should actually be right really obvious where stuff is we can go through the pile of, uh, resulting from this the dirt moving of this dirt and then we can also dig and all that kind of fun stuff and get tons of fun things because there should be quite a few interesting things back here. We've already found like three cisterns. There's been a bunch of like, just a bunch of old stuff. Cause like this entire area has been built on many times over the past 200 years. So there's like, as far as America goes, that's pretty good. I know in Europe, this goes back thousands of years, but for here, that's pretty good. And uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And I think right now it's just a good time of just uh, sit back and wait for the excavator guy just to clear off a bunch of uh, dirt. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!